Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got some tips for you today and maybe some money plays. Ultimately, today's video is going to be all about man defense. Man defense is the predominant defense in Madden this year. Uh, pretty much everybody's running it to this point, I would think. Uh, you probably run into it at least more than half the time. Uh, so I want to make a video about how to beat man defense specifically. So I'm going to focus on how to beat man cover one, man cover two. More specifically, cover two, I think that's probably the predominant defense in this year's game. And I'm going to be doing it out of the Green Bay Packers playbook. Now, this playbook here is one of my favorite passing playbooks. Uh, I used it in a lot of my gameplays recently, and I'm going to be using it in a lot of my gameplays going forward. The reason that I'm going to show this video out of this is because I really want to focus on common concepts. These are things you can find in most playbooks. You don't have to use the Packers to find some of the plays that I'm going to use out of the gun tight offset. Uh, you can find in the gun tight and stuff like that, or in the bunch. Um, there's a lot of concepts here that I'm going to use uh, that you can use and find in most playbooks. So I'm going to try to show you guys as many plays that you can find or as many routes as you can find in your own favorite playbook, but I'm going to be using the Packers. So if you want to mirror that, you can. I have a full ebook out of the Packers, link in the description below, which is also very good. It's one of the best passing playbooks in the game. So I'm going to start off with the Y out as the first play. On the defensive side, we're going to try to match. I'm going three wide receiver set, but I'm going to give myself as much of a challenge as possible. I don't want receivers going against linebackers, so I'm going to make sure that I go with a dime normal. So we're going to start off with the dime cover two because I think cover two is probably the hardest defense and it's one of the defenses I'm going to focus on today. Now before I get into the actual plays, I think it's more important to break down what beats man. It's not necessarily about the money play itself or the route as much as it is the throw. There's a whole system involved when it comes to beating man coverages. Uh, number one, timing is one of the most important things. Like simple out routes or corner routes like the Y route is running, that's a man beating concept. But if you don't throw that on timing, if I throw that timing late, the guy's going to catch up. He's going to knock the ball down. So timing can be important when it comes to beating man coverage. All you really have to do is make sure you throw it in the break nine times out of ten, and you can see how that's going to be a much better result. Timing is going to be very important. It's also important, I mean, when you're throwing outside, you don't want to augment the pass outside of maybe pass leading, which is something that I'm doing on this Y route. I'm pass leading outside to make sure that I get as much separation as possible. But when you're throwing over the middle, you're going to want to augment the pass a different way. A lot of times when you're throwing it over the middle, though, one of the best ways to throw it is throw a low pass so that nobody has a shot at it other than your receiver. And I'll go over that more as well to throw the ball low by the way you have to hold the left trigger or the l2 button if you're on playstation to get that low throw animation and i'm not saying that's the best way to go with this particular play but that's something that you can definitely do so one of the reasons that i'm focusing on this particular formation and like i said also the bunch formation which i'll go over in a minute is because these particular formations have a a formational advantage based off of the fact that the receivers are in tight like this you can see that they're not in line with the cornerbacks the cornerbacks are far off and they're outside they're not in a position to press that's one of the reasons you want to focus your offense out of these particular formations this and the bunch formations any tight formations because you'll see right here when i run this play as is adams is going to get open right over the middle like I said, right, because he's inside first off as the play starts. He's got inside release. He's got inside position on that cornerback. If I were to run a traditional formation where he's outside, say, like, you know, say you're running like a spread formation. Now the cornerback's down. He's right in his face. He's going to redirect him, and he's going to beat him. As you can see right here, he already directed the play outside. This guy does not have a chance to get over, and then now you're throwing an interception. So the next play that I'm going to focus on is once again out of the gun tight offset TE. It's the bench. So like I said, once again, not a lot really needed here as far as adjustments um, you can still do that motion uh, but I would say once again it's really all about these outside routes and basically just bullet pass leading outside throwing in the break that's probably one of the most important things so the reason I showed this is because the bench concept is in every single playbook in the game if you want to you can also streak these these outside receivers just to pull those safeties back and then try to get these outside releases as much as possible you can see the catch and run there's much better so moving on to some bunch concepts like I said bunch concepts are going to be good you have a lot of those outside 
outside routes once again. The deep corner is very similar to what I was just showing. Now there's a pretty uh, unique set like the 518 hook here. That's a really good outside route. We'll start with that. I'm also going to show the inside cross. Once again, I can throw it just like this. I can throw it to the B route right over the middle if I want to. He gets a good break over the middle again. But I could also make this happen with a motion by making him to the outside, which is ultimately going to be better. So I'll streak the X route, motion this guy across. Once again, motion snapping so that there's no press once he gets over there. And then you can see how this B route gets outside one more time. So like I said, motion snapping is a really good trick when it comes to beating man. Another good route in this game that doesn't really have a lot of use in my opinion um, outside of um, this type of man coverage is going to be what I call the C route. It's really a, a corner route. I'm not really sure the name, but the route that you're seeing on the inside cross and also the corner strike. Once again, we're trying to focus on receivers other than Devontae Adams because he's such a good route runner that he's going to beat those defenses nine times out of ten. Uh, but ultimately, I wanted to show the running back on this particular play. That's a really good man beating route as well. So you'll always have a good check down on a play like that. Um, ultimately, you probably want to make sure that he has outside release. So like right here, if you can, if you can find a play like that where he's running around like that to the outside like if I can motion him across that's going to give me a better release because he's not crossing the linebacker so now I have a really good check down although now he's getting caught in the trash uh, but you can see if he would run that route smooth he would do a good job and he's going against Bobby Wagner which is definitely one of the tougher coverage assignments so let's go and let's do that again like I said it's a little bit of a problem based off the fact that there's so many linemen and receivers in that area that he can get caught up but like I said that's a really good route that you can steal all game something like that that type of bend very good check down but ultimately, the route that I want to focus on here is this corner route, which can be a very good route. Once again, if thrown at the right time, you can see, once again, bullet pass leading outside. You can make that separation. So I'll go ahead and I'll flip the play, and I'll run it with Scantling. Although I don't think, I mean, he's probably the second best receiver the Packers have, but he's definitely not very good. So like I said, we're going we're gonna to have to wait. If we make that throw on time, you can see how he gets the release. He gets the separation. And he's going against a better corner. Another good play out of the gun tight offset TE is the PA seams. Now this is something that you can have success against man cover 2 or man cover 1, but we haven't touched on man cover 1 yet. So we're going to go, we're going to pick man cover 1. We're going to pick the cover 1 robber press. Once again, we have an advantage based off of the fact that the receivers are in tight, but the cornerbacks are definitely aligned more uh, to where they would want to be. And then you can see now this is a much easier play based off the fact that there's no two safeties over the top. This is an instant one play touchdown. It's it's going to work against cover two the same way uh, as far as the get the, the release you'll get outside by the Y route. Uh, but you can see, I mean, if I float it, which like I said, when you're playing against man, you typically want to float the ball. You typically don't want to bullet it. If I bullet it, you're not going to get that same effect. So let's go and let's see what that looks like if we bullet that pass. I mean, you can still make it happen, but I can I can definitely get more out of, you know, basically lobbing it and letting the receiver, you know, switching over to the receiver and sprinting to the ball. As you can see, I mean, if I get caught, I get caught, but there's a much better chance of a big play if you float the ball. Now, when it comes to cover one man beaters, another good play, this time out of the single back bunch, is the Z option. So since we have, we haven't focused too much on cover one man, let's go and let's get a really good play on that. Ultimately, this this uh, this route here, if you smart route it, it's definitely even better. What the X route's doing, you don't have to. It'll work out just like this. Uh, but ultimately, the smart route's going to make it better. And you can see right here. I mean, this is this is a very quick play. Once again, another reason people don't really run man cover one as much as man cover two. But like I said, if you smart route it, it gets open really fast. As you can see, it's just it's just touch and go, and now you're just hitting home runs. So this is, like I said, you can look at a lot of plays like this. Sluggo routes have this effect. Um, there's a lot of plays that can really do this against man cover one. Really any routes, like the digging up. This is another one. This is out of a, a double south. These are all cover one man concepts. We're going to run this one more time. Uh, the B route, you can do the same trick. You can put them on a, 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 you know, you smart route them. It basically makes that route come at a much wider angle. And then you can see he's running right past it. I was expecting that ball a little more to the outside. But you can see, even with a non Devante Adams run route, it's still very explosive. And like I said, you don't have to put him on that uh, on that smart route. But you can see it's better at the second idea. The second, like when I don't smart route it, he doesn't quite get that release that he did in the first time. So smart routing it is obviously a better way to go, especially when it's against cover one man because the cornerback is so far off. And then you can see as long as I can get a good throw, I didn't really get to step into that and float it out there. But you can see how quickly this gets past cover one man. So that's it. That's the video. I showed you guys a lot of common concepts that can beat man as well as some one play touchdowns, some of which aren't necessarily as common as others. But ultimately, hopefully you guys have a 
better understanding of how to beat man after this video. If you want to see more videos like this, specifically the coverages, let me know in the comment section what type of coverages you'd like me to cover, as well as hit the like button. Let me know uh, that I should keep doing videos like this. And that's it. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.